Hey guys, Deb Hand here. Welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. I haven't uploaded any videos in months, but that's just because I was moving and I wanted to settle down in my new space. I've been wanting to make a headboard for myself for such a long time now, and I really like the look of the channel tafted headboard, so that's what I'm gonna make today. I'm doing this for a queen size bedroom, so 160 centimeters is good enough. If you want to make your own headboard just like I did, you need to follow this step. Mark your board and draw lines on every 10 cm mark as a guide for your cardboard strips as you will see in the next step. I wanted my channels to be a good size, not too big, not too small, so I divided the length of the board which is the 160 by 10 cm. We get 16 channels in total. Now I'm finally using that algebra. I'm just stippling down the cardboard strips onto the line. These strips will help make um, the channel straight and it gives it a nice and crisp look. I got the strips from um, Mr. Cheap Fabric Center for about 50 cents per cardboard strip. You must make sure you cut off the excess uh, strips so that they are the same height as your board. Next, I took my 2 inch form and cut it into the 10 cm strips as well. I did a lot of cutting in this project. This is the material I'll be working with today. It's a nice grey velvet with um, dense sort of texture to it you need to cut your material bigger than your foam so that you can accommodate your foam plus a two to three centimeters allowance for stapling it down i hope i'm making sense cut your decoration to be the same size as your foam and i'd say you're good to go Ideally, you want to have some form of glue. This is what I had in hand, so I went ahead and I used that. This is a lengthy process, so just sit down, chill, listen to music or whatever. For the first channel, you need to either staple the material on the side or under the board to secure it. Now leave that piece alone and then glue your foam down layer your decoration and cover with your material then staple it down on top of the cardboard strip that we stapled earlier on a little trick that i learned with this project is to staple in a diagonal way so that your staples cover the thickness of the cardboard strip this makes the staples um, to come out in a nice line i don't know how to explain it but it just keeps the cardboard strip flash with your board and it makes a nice clean line. Now that I had my first channel, it felt like there's literally nothing I can't do. It felt so good. So, so good. But uh, let's move on. So anyway, I cut the excess material off to make room for my next channel. For the second channel, I placed my fabric like so, right sides facing, 
and I made sure that it's sitting on the cardboard strip because it is the beginning <laughs> beginning <laughs> it is the beginning of your next channel then you have to take another cardboard strip and staple it down another helpful trick is to use longer staples with the step to make sure it is really really stapled down because remember now there is a cardboard and material and material and another cardboard so you need your staples to be a bit longer so they can really attach to the board depending on the type of material you may want to check your pattern to make sure it is seamless and your pattern is not broken or with um, velvet material just like I'm using here you need to make sure it brushes up or down the same way I don't know if I'm making any sense and downs of this project really was my staple gun it was really acting up and it slowed down my process and I was very frustrated but I just had to think about what I wanted in the end and keep going on Remember also that it's easier to start in the middle and work your way outwards. Did I do this all the time? No, no I did not. But what really matters is the final product. Mine? Mine is a West Elm headboard <laughs> if I do say so myself.
a project like this definitely needs more than two hands so if you can summon anyone to come and help you then just do so or you can hire labor just like i did with this one and this one here the corners are a little bit tricky to work with but if you know how to wrap a gift then you can just fold it in cut a v shape and fold it down <laughs> if you know what i mean i wish i could have shown you better in the video but my fluff just kept on coming onto the screen say hi to my fluff anyway just pull it down making sure it is nice and snug then you're good to go then you have to apply the legs you can use anything that you have in hand what i had in hand was these numbers just lying around the house so what i did was i measured the height of my bed plus the height of my furniture legs and cut it to size the leg itself started from the height of the bed plus the height of the furniture legs that i have in the house i attached the lumber onto the back of the headboard itself if you want to cover the back of your headboard you can go ahead and do so i was just too lazy and excited at the same time to do that step but you can add a lining at the back staple it down this is how my headboard turned out it's looking so nice and professional i added sideboards to make it look like it's actually a sleigh bed but it's not if you want to see how i did that please let me know in the comments down below so i can upload a video on how i made my sideboards yeah thank you guys so much for watching my video i hope you have enjoyed it if you like this type of content please make sure you subscribe to my channel and click the bell notification button so that you are notified every time i post a video it helps my channel for more of me you can follow me on my socials i'll link my instagram page below bye